Hi guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed and uh, I'm going through my castings before I put them outside. These have been sitting since maybe Christmas. Been making sure to mist them every once in a while, but I am still finding worms even now. I thought I did a really, really good job of, of sifting them the first time that I wouldn't get any eggs and that there wouldn't be any worms left in there. Uh, not so much. I, I think there are cocoons that are super, super tiny that you cannot see that well or I'm not really sure but these were sifted through this one which I've lost my marking on it dang it whatever um super small though this one really put these on the shirt they're small these are like a quarter inch and the one below is eighth of an inch or something I don't exactly know which kind of worm these are uh, because I keep all the castings together. Hindsight 2020 probably should keep them separated. Not that it really matters in the long run, but yeah, I can't believe how many worms there are in here after four months and they're back. The time has come, I need to use them it's now or never, worms. You want to still live at home with mom, you got to get out of the castings today. But yeah, I'm finding 15, 20 worms in every 24 ounce scoop. They don't look real mature, so hopefully they have not been making their own cocoons. But I will just put them back, probably in the big boy bin. That's where all the random unspecified worms go. Just even in the scoop, there was like a huge handful. Yeah, so obviously the light method and everything goes out the window when you're trying to rescue worms from the outside because it's still not warm enough if any of these are African night crawlers. I don't think they would make it. It's still almost freezing outside at night. This is their last chance. I'll go and find what sizes they these really are. I mean, no oh, dang, that one's got a cotellum. Ugh, dang it. Which means it's probably a blue worm, which means there's probably 7,000 more of them in here. Which is fine, I don't know if blue worms can live in zone five or not. This is probably the third time I've sifted this stuff, so I have truly tried to rescue all of the worms for real. If there's anybody left, I've done my best. These were a lot drier when I originally put them in this bin. And then I started reading posts about how if you dry them out too much, then you jeopardize the microflora and fauna. So at least I know that it'll, it'll bounce back to a degree. And you see how it's making little balls. That's... Uh, 
sort of one of the attributes of using a lot of paper. I'm fine with it, it doesn't bother me. Okay, it bothers me if it's a lot, so I shouldn't say it doesn't bother me, but I do actively try and use more cardboard. I don't know what the difference, you'd think that cardboard and regular paper are made out of the same stuff, but there must be more binders or something. So, yeah, I could throw these out, but I don't want to. I want to rescue my worms. I'm not going to make you watch me sift 55 gallons of uh, castings, but I just wanted to show you that even after you let them sit for four months, you still find worms. They're in there, you just can't see them. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for hanging out with me and my worms. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you guys later.